New to the Lokoming world, welcome to the club. Well, Lokoming is challenging when you're first starting it. Lokum during the week is one of a kind. Lokoming at the weekend is a completely different game. So what do we do to prepare for it? In this video today, I'll be sharing with you my first ever locum shift at the weekend. If you are new to the locuming world or if you are preparing for your first ever locum shift at the weekend, I hope you find these lessons useful. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lynn. I am an overseas student from Vietnam who have the privilege to live and work in the UK. I'm now working as a pharmacist. This year, I've decided to take locuming. My background was a hospital pharmacist, so this is a completely game changer for me. But I find it very exciting, um, but also uh, reflecting on it, all of the um, scenario, all of the situation that I put myself into, I feel like I'm much braver than I was was before still a little butterfly when I go to different places but it's always going to be challenges and there's no two days the same so first thing first I came to the place 15 minutes early because I commute by public transport so I've always make sure that I get there beforehand just in case any delayed in getting there pharmacy meant to be open from nine o'clock but door didn't open till five past nine so I was waiting a long time plus there was already a queue of patient waiting to be entered so it was the pharmacy that I've not been before so I was forced to make sure that I familiarize myself with it I will put to work with staff until midday only and the rest of the time I will be working by myself so that is already like oh wow I didn't expect that at all since I've started locoming I've always worked in a pharmacy when I was put to work with an experienced dispenser but I guess that is what locum pharmacy about you don't know what gonna come around so I was like okay this is how it is I just have to make sure that I know the dispensing system very well, familiar myself with everything where um, antibiotics are kept, where CD resistors is, knowing that I, I will be working by myself later so it will come handy if I've got a prescription come in and I have to dispense by myself. Loan working is not something that I expected before but luckily for me because of my hospital background I used to work as an encore pharmacist when I have to come in and dispense and check by myself so I've already had a checklist of what I should do but if you are not familiar with that situation stay in mind of what checklist you should do what kind of mental break you should take in between to make sure that you double check yourself accurately knowing that I'll be on my own I learned to prioritize what I need to do on that day the regular pharmacists have already written a list for me and instead of jumping into checking or doing the CD balance and all of the normal tasks that I've been doing that I'm familiar with anyway and um, I will put them aside and focusing on shadowing the dispenser have a chance to practice dispensing myself so that if I have any problem there's somebody out there for me to could quickly teach me how to do that so prioritization is something that you should bear in mind the other thing that you should bear in mind is to pay attention to the login details of all of the computer system in the pharmacy. Things like online doctors, if they have one, computer login, their farm outcomes. Pharmacies that I've been in so far, they tend to be quite organized and they know that there will be logoming. So they tend to have a list of login in details printed out somewhere that you can refer into or actually use it yourself just in case the pharmacy is getting busy and you only have one other member of staff so going back to the shift the shift went pretty smooth and i think the pharmacy that i was working is not a very busy pharmacy it's only until the patient came in to collect a methadone and i thought um, i've poured out all of the methadone already they will be nothing it must be like six cents or something and luckily like i just like flicked through a random folder and i saw a folder with all of the methadone prescription in there and it was filed alphabetical order and i managed to find that prescription eventually but it took me a while to locate it and I knew that the patient was quite agitated at that point because I told her initially that there's no prescription for her day and then and it's a Saturday as well it's probably not the right time for her to try to get access with their key worker my thought process at that point was trying to analyze and see what the worst case scenario if I cannot find the prescription but that's still not an urgent case that the patient needs to be referred to emergency care 
So what other tasks would you have to do as a local pharmacist on a Saturday? So there are some emergency services that you are expected to carry, especially over the weekend, such as providing any referral, community pharmacy consultation service, any minor ailment referral that you have, any request from 111 to supply emergency medication. The other activity that I had to provide emergency hormone contraception. If you haven't revised through that recently, then recap over those section on CPPE. It's come across twice now that I had to provide emergency contraception for teenagers that are less than 16. So have a recap over Fraser guideline to ensure that you know it's safe to provide emergency contraception in those scenarios and also in terms of safeguarding, what you should watch out for. And finally, just before you finish the shift, it's probably useful to write down a handover to their regular pharmacist should you want to follow up anything or should you have any query that you could not do over the weekend so they can follow up next week. And it's also good to leave the contact details so that if they need to contact you to clarify on anything, then there's contact details available there. Overall, I love the shift. I like to be able to put myself into the situation and that I was forced to learn and grab a lot of concept in a short period of time and it's also an opportunity for me to recognize a certain gap in my knowledge that I need to revise over especially as I'm new to the community pharmacy world the reflection will be useful for me in terms of what preparation will I need for any other future shift coming up um, over the weekend and I hope that if you are preparing for your first locum shift this video will be useful to you so that you can imagine what kind of activity will required if you are working over the weekend that's it that's all for me today thank you very much for listening and if you find this video useful why not give me a like and subscribe to my channel so that i can share my knowledge to many more people and i look forward to see you take care and goodbye